What's up ladies and gentlemen, all we seem to hear these days is STEM, 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 and more STEM. And science seems to be a more and more expensive major, especially in colleges and of course high schools where they simply cannot afford the equipment necessary to maybe give a student a proper education. So of course there are just multiple new startups that are constantly trying to build competition and drive the prices of all these monopolies down and I super I really do respect that being a student myself and one of these companies is known as Pocket Lab now basically they were like okay so there's like 10 different scientific uh, tools right here what if we could take all of them and combine them and then we could shove it into a tiny little cube that was their whole goal were they gonna pull it off? They had no idea, but they ended up doing so. And so came the start of Pocket Lab. Now this is a pretty cool little device. Now I'm not exactly sure whether any teachers watch this particular channel. I hope there are, and if you are watching this particular video, mark my word, this is a pretty handy investment, especially if you are a science teacher. And if you are actually planning on purchasing this device and are just looking around for reviews, then welcome to this video. So what can this thing measure that makes it so unique? Well, this thing can actually go and measure acceleration, force, angular velocity, magnetic field, pressure, altitude, and even temperature. There's also cloud software that allows you to analyze the data that this thing calculates. And of course, you can create graphs, integrate the data into other software, export into wherever you need. It's just super low cost compared to some of the other things that you may need in order to properly uh, well, measure certain things that you might need for a particular experiment. Now, in my experiences, a lot of the really expensive science equipment usually don't even end up working. This thing works, I can promise you guys that. And I'm gonna show you guys a tiny little demo as to how exactly this works. So first of all, you do need an Android device or an iOS device. Go ahead into the Google Play Store in this case, and of course, download the Pocket Lab application. Open it up and turn on Bluetooth inside of this. So it's gonna ask Bluetooth permission required. This app wants to turn on Bluetooth, yep. Go ahead and do it. I actually did this on my iPad to make sure it was just as good on there. I'm now gonna go ahead and do it on Android. Let me put the brightness so you guys can actually see this. Okay, place Pocket Lab here to uh, connect. Okay, and there's a cool little button right here. And it is on. Okay. And that should be all you need to do in order to connect this particular device. All right, let's see if it actually goes ahead and connects. And there you go. It has now connected. Look how easy that was. I, I placed the thing on my phone and it basically was able to connect via Bluetooth. And what did that take? 10 seconds? Whew, much easier than typical scientific equipment that we tend to use in our school systems. So as you guys can see, it is currently recording data. And let's see what I could do with this. As soon as I go ahead and move it, press down on it, drop it maybe, uh, go ahead and move it around, it's actually gonna measure, which you can actually go ahead and record should you choose to press the actual record button. So there you go, it's now recording certain data. Go ahead and use that, export it wherever you want. And it's just a super convenient device. So let's take a look at what exactly did this thing calculate. All right, so taking a look right here, in this case, we have acceleration. Now, as you guys can see, you can actually go through other recordings that you may or may not have. And of course, record, well, yourself actually experimenting with this, which is pretty interesting. So there you go. Pretty cool, eh? Okay. So then you can actually record a video simultaneously with your data. That can come in really handy later on. Then of course you can take this particular video of the data being recorded live and you can actually interact with it. So you can zoom in on particular sections. You can go ahead and zoom out and look at the overall data for certain trends or something along those lines. And of course you can go ahead and share it with a particular source, whether it's Google Drive, email it to your professor, something along those lines. And the final thing you can do is actually go and clear it. I feel like the application itself really really handy and is about as simple as you can make an application like this happen now I why do I say this well it it's really hard for professors and teachers to go and explain to a bunch of kids to do this and then that and then that and then that and the 10 million typical processes you may get inside of your traditional scientific room but in this case it's simply place the thing on your phone everyone has a phone give a group one of these and then start experimenting you can actually go ahead and change what exactly you are measuring right here. So I can I can set it to one particular thing, or I can set it to multiple different things, whether it's altitude, temperature, magnetic uh, field right here. So we're just going to go and check all of them, see how that turns out. Acceleration, pressure, and I'm not sure if it's actually going to make it let me do that. So maybe we should try one. Okay, it can do up to two at once. All right, well, 
that's good enough. Let's go ahead and try that. So as you guys can see, there are two graphs now. Some of the other features you might get is of course your altitude uh, measurements. So not everyone's gonna like using meters, even though that is the traditional way that you have to do things. But there is feet as well. There's Fahrenheit as well, K, um, RPM instead of uh, what else that says. And of course, uh, degrees per second. Acceleration can be measured in multiple ways as well. And of course, your acceleration scalar and pressure can be measured as well. So if you wanna go ahead and change the scales, go ahead and do that. Uh, one of the other bars right here, there is no camera available. Okay, so that's the camera. And the final thing right here, what would you like to do with the device? You can unpair it or you can rename your device. So for a tiny little cube right here, this thing can do a lot. And I really appreciate that there are people out there who are attempting to make these cool little things that will help out the classrooms, help out the teachers, and help out the students who will make even better things later on. So hopefully guys, you go ahead and check this out and if you're interested and maybe share it with your teachers in case you guys don't know about that this thing exists just yet. I feel like the company has a lot of potential. So congratulations Pocket Lab for doing something like this and making lives easier. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And this is going to be me logging off.